they're supposed to have some games. All right, well, I know it's been a month since I posted a video, and I do apologize for that, guys, and I know, hey, I'm sitting here in front of my storage garages once again, showing the 80 Cutlass and my 79 Calais, and I know you guys are looking for an update on the Silverado, but, you know, this spring has not been all that great as far as car work goes, so I've been focusing a lot on the house, and I've just been caught up with that. So the weather is finally uh, broke, as you can see. The skies are beautiful, the trees are starting to bloom. It's May 5th, it's a late spring this year. Unlike last year, it was 80 degrees in March, two months ago. So I got a jump on car work last year, this year. It's been a little bit slow, so I just haven't posted videos. But what I wanted to show you guys today, or do today, is in my uh, last video, I showed my 80 Cutlass. I had it out for a, uh, an indoor car show first week of March. Got lucky on the weather there because the weather, you know, Six weeks after that was nothing but garbage, uh, snow, rain, cold, and I mentioned in that video that I wanted to drive this car and enjoy it a lot more. So what I'm going to do today, I'm getting it out. It's a, it's a beautiful Sunday morning, and what the local Oldsmobile chapter does each and every year, uh, first weekend in March or uh, May, I should say, is... Uh, we hold something which is called a spring dust off basically pull the cars out Get them ready for the uh, car cruising or car show season and just kind of get together Nothing but Oldsmobiles, so it's something cool to see I uh, I try to attend every year, but actually it, I haven't attended in the past three years, so uh, The weather is great today. I got the 80 Cutlass all uncovered and I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up It's been sitting here since uh, first weekend uh, first week of March yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up here. Should start right up. Oh. So in front of me is my dad's 1960 Olds Super 88. He bought that in 1987. It was green. It took him 10 years to restore it. Complete frame off restoration. Finished it in 97. And uh, he's been enjoying it ever since. So uh, once he parks it, I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys this car in full detail. It's beautiful. So here at the show today, pretty decent turnout. Walking through a couple of these cars right here. There's my dad's right there. There's mine. And what I want to show you guys is a bunch of 80 Cutlasses here that I've never seen before. And oddly enough, I mean, what are the odds of this? There's an 80 Cutlass there one right there and there's one right there and they are all original owner cars so what are the odds of that having three original 80 cutlass owners in the same place for starters hardly anyone ever keeps these cars from when they bought them new let alone having them here all at the same time so I'll do a quick walk around of each one of these cars this is a Supreme has a Calais nose on it the guy told me that a couple weeks after he bought it, someone backed into it, and he liked the Cali nose better. So this one here is a, a 260 car. Repaint, original color though. It's got the tan interior, all original. You know, it was a driven car. But overall it's in fair condition for its age being a, an Ohio car. A little bit of rust here and there on it, but overall it looks nice. This one here is, is beautiful. 
beautiful car. This one is 100% original. Here we go, we got 24,000 original miles. There's original brochure. It's a brome. Really nice, really nice. And uh, let me walk over here and show you guys this 80. Another original owner car, which is so hard to believe. Special ordered with the bucket seats, no console, column shift. Very similar to a, to a standard shift car because they have the uh, bucket seats with the floor shifter without the console. And he special ordered it with the 305 Chevy. He said he did not want the 260 which I don't blame him. So the only other bigger option was a 305 Chevy. So there you go. We got three original 80 Cutlasses, or I should say three 80 Cutlasses from the original owners. Hard to believe that, all in one spot. And what I'm gonna try to do there's mine sitting back there. I'm going to try to get all four of these cars together and get some pictures. All right, well, here's my dad's 60 Olds here. Got them parked together. So I'll just quickly walk around this one. It's got the hood closed. I'll see if I can open it here in a minute. But just wanted to show you guys what this car looked like up close. Interior's all redone. He bought it in, he, uh, bought it in 87. It took him 10 years to restore it. Finished it in 97, the actual color of the the dashboard you guys can see that was the color of the entire car but it is it is beautiful nut and bolt restoration right down to the frame body came off it is uh, decided to change the color to white to match the interior Let me back up and see if I can show you guys the entire view of this car it is a uh, it is beautiful open up the door <laughs> these door panels are original the interior itself has been redone <coughs> just love the dashboards on these old cars so I get to drive this one every once in a while But I love it. I love this car. Old inspection sticker from 1970. There you go. 1960 old Super 88. Mostly original 59 with a Kennedy for President bumper sticker. How original is that? That is so cool. Here's a nice 78 here. It's good to see these 78 to 80 cars starting to get out. This guy here said he's owned it since 84. There's a Corvette. This isn't all Oldsmobile show, but there are a couple of uh, odds and ends making it in here. There's a Buick, uh, one of those older uh, T-types with the uh, tilt hood. Calais. It's nice. Said it's got a 383 stroker.
couple of other nice ones sitting over here. Nice 7442. Looks like the guy just finished restoring it. Another 7442. A couple of other cutlasses down here. And there's a nice 65. I'll show you guys that one in a minute. That one's a really cool car over there. But this this one is beautiful. Looks like a fresh restoration. Very, very nice. Convertible. Beautiful car. So check out the 65. This one here looks to be a mostly original, if not all original, except for the rally wheels. Looks like it had a vinyl top on it. Took that off. It's got a little bit of rust here and there on the roof, typical. But this is the cool part of that, about this car. This is a regular Cutlass, I believe, unless it's an F85. Factory four speed. And it's not even a 442. There it is. It's an F85 Cutlass. Right, see, see it right there on the dashboard. A lot of the 442s are automatic. What is this? A 64? This one is just super cool. Being original as it is, having the four speed in it. All 480 Cutlass is sitting here together. I figured I'd grab everyone and get them all together for a couple of pictures, get some video of it. Thought it was a pretty neat opportunity. I don't know if I, when I'd ever see uh, four of them again in one small show, to say the least. That's pretty cool, huh? Alright guys, well that is it. Go ahead and check out my channel. Got all sorts of cool stuff on there. And uh, also be sure to subscribe and uh, go ahead and leave a comment.